Uh, let's just start with the, the leaked documents and what you found. Exxon doesn't disclose all its emissions, uh, let alone emissions projected out in the future. And so what we found from these internal documents is uh, before the coronavirus pandemic took hold of the global economy, Exxon was planning to increase its emissions by as much as 17 percent or about 100 million metric tons of carbon dioxide going out to 2025. Um, and that's happening at a time when the world really needs to cut emissions to be able to tackle climate change to the extent, some say, as much as half within the next decade. Yeah, it's pretty phenomenal that you, you found or you managed to read these documents, Akshat. Is there any sort of suspicion that it was because the U.S. pulled out of the, the Paris Accord or didn't sign up to the Paris Accord that Exxon was able to do this? Or has that nothing to do with it? It's possible. We don't know what the reasons are. Uh, what is clear, however, is that if we look at Exxon's uh, rivals, some of its rivals, especially European oil companies, uh, there is a clear indication that those companies are looking to align with climate science. So BP has said it will cut its oil production 40 percent within the next decade, and Shell has said it's going to reach net zero emissions by 2050. One of the key reasons they're doing it is because Europe is about to bring in regulations that would uh, require all companies in the region to agree to these sorts of targets, net zero by 2050. And those targets don't exist currently in the U.S. Of course, uh, uh, President Trump has pulled the U.S. out of the Paris Climate Agreement, and that formality will be completed a day after the election. Uh, so that may be one reason. What kind of pressure do you think will be brought to bear on, uh, on Exxon because of this report? So one thing we know is that if there is a change in uh, the government, if uh, uh, Joe Biden is elected to be president, he has already said that uh, he will commit the U.S. to net zero emissions by 2050, which will have a huge number of impacts, but one of them would be that Exxon will also have to align itself with what the U.S. government is doing. However, in, before that, uh, there can be pressure from investors who require these kinds of disclosures on what uh, Exxon's own projections are, either on production, which it does talk about, but also on emissions, which has become a really key criteria to be able to make decisions. So I'd expect more and more investors to reach out to Exxon and engage with them uh, to try and disclose these figures uh, going into the future. Did Exxon have any comment for us or you, Akshat? Yes, so Exxon said that uh, this document is, is a document that is based before coronavirus. We, did not, we know that. Um, the company has said it is going to delay some of its uh, production plans uh, because the uh, price of oil has fallen so drastically. But it hasn't yet said that it is canceling any of those projects, uh, any of those uh, oil and gas projects. And so those emissions are still, so to speak, on the books. Uh, perhaps maybe not in 2025, but a little bit further out.